I actually came out to just test out my new lens, the Canon 16 to 35 millimeter, and I actually wanted to get some like decent sunset music. Let me turn this stupid windscreen wipers off. But yeah, I tried to get some actual like sunset photos and sunset videos with this new lens just to test out a bit because I don't really have any other time to test out this lens. And yeah, it's just started to rain, so which is a bit annoying. But basically what I wanted to do anyway while I was testing it out is talking about the Canon R7 and the Canon R10. These cameras, the ones, the leaks that I actually made a video on before have all come true, to be honest. You've got 30 frames per second electronic, 15 frames per second mechanical. It can shoot 4K 60 frames per second and 1080p in 120 frames per second which is really really good it's got a 32.5 megapixel sensor i think and all of these uh, like specs that i'm naming at the minute are all better than the canon eos r which is on what i'm using on right now to film myself on my daily camera this is the only one i have which is pretty mad to be honest the only difference really between the canon eos r and uh the r7 like what it's better at this the Canon ESR is like it's that it's full frame. These cameras look really, really, really good. I'm really liking the look of them, that R7 and the R10. It's a really good entry point if you was actually looking to buy into the Canon R system because they are very expensive. These cameras, the RP is quite cheap considering it's a full frame camera. I know it's like 1,000, I think 500 pound for the body only of the R7 which is still crazy loads of money and it's actually more expensive than the Canon EOS R when I brought it but to be fair I did get the RF 24 to 105 and the adapter with mine for less so maybe that's why but the R10 coming at just under £1,000 I think is going to be a really really good entry point and I really do suggest if you're looking to buy a brand new camera like your first camera in 2022 I do suggest you go for the Canon EOS R7 if you can, but if not, definitely the Canon EOS R10 because it's actually faster than the R5, which is insane, the R10, because it's got the same processor and the autofocus system than the R3. And the R3's autofocus is absolutely outstanding. So the R7 and the R10 have the same autofocus as the R3 is absolutely amazing to be honest if you are looking to get a camera in 2022 i really do suggest the r7 to start off with the good thing about it it's the same mount so you can use your canon eos rf lenses on uh, new cameras so if you get an r7 and buy like a 50 mil 1.8 or 35 mil 1.8 or like this camera here this ef 16 to 35 this lens that i'm using now you can, once you upgrade to full frame, you can use it on that. So if you are a wildlife and sports photographer as well, you're really gonna like this because you get that extra reach as well. So these cameras are looking really, really good. And Canon are really gonna try and make a claim back to be number one, I think, over Sony, especially when this Canon EOS R1 comes out because I think they have everything available now. And I just think they're gonna be better than Sony in the future. So I'm happy I've invested into Canon. I'm really liking this lens at the minute. It's a bit of a shame that I actually came out to get some photos and videos using this camera. Uh, sorry using this lens but you know what I don't really want to go out and get soaked it'll be a good time to actually test out the weather sealing of my camera and this lens to be honest see how good uh, the weather sealing actually is on them but I thought I've came all this way I've made this little talk about the Canon R7 I might just get some test photos of actually inside the car and getting some interior shots because why not? I thought it would be quite fun. I love car photography. So why not try and get some interior car shots using it? I mean, at the end of the day, it is a wide angle lens. So yeah, tell me what you think about these photos and videos at the end. And yeah, we'll get back to talking about the Canon EOS R7 R10. Right then, so there were some of the photos. Tell me what you think. Did you think that you like them? Leave a comment below. I was actually thinking for like vlogging, because I got this lens for like vlogging as well. Obviously 16 millimeters really, I'm gonna probably need it because the camera's literally right in front of me. But I had a 24 millimeter that I was vlogging on. But what's probably the best focal length for vlogging? So this is on 16 millimeters at the minute. And now you've got, this is 20. And now this is 24 millimeters. So this is what I was actually using on my old lens. And obviously this is 35 millimeters, which is really, really close. But then this whole thing I've been using 16, is this a bit too far away? Maybe if I zoom in a little bit to like 20 millimeters, is this a little bit better? I'm not sure, I'll have to keep testing that out. But yeah, let's talk about the R7 and the R10 again. Uh, I think they're up for pre-orders soon as well, to be honest. 
some of the specs like i mentioned earlier are really really good i don't think i'm going to get one at all because the next camera i'm actually interested in is the r6 now because that camera looks really good and obviously it's full frame and obviously a little bit more expensive but i think the r6 is the way to go for my next camera obviously i'm going to keep this kind of near sir as a second body but yeah i think these new two new cameras look really really good and i'm actually really excited to see what people can do with them especially wildlife photographers out there you're going to absolutely love this camera and both of them really and you're gonna your sports photographer as well are gonna absolutely love it so even though there's the r3 out there and the r1 coming out if you're looking into getting into sports photography them high frame rates and then the APS-C obviously reach as well is going to be really really good 32 megapixels as well really really good megapixels so it's gonna be a great camera for photography as well and it's gonna be really hard to floor that camera at the end of the day but yeah that's really what I've got to say had about it this is testing out the new lens didn't really go to plan because obviously the rain I didn't want to get it didn't really want to get wet and I thought the photos wouldn't be that good so I thought I'll mix things up and probably the, the weirdest vlog ever just in a car as my first proper one but what you're gonna do anyway so thank you very much for watching make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future and I'll see you guys on the next video see you later